perceptions and thoughts bear within themselves the potentiality of again becoming real and image like. If man speaks of the conception, red, today without having a red object before him, then this conception is, as it were, only a shadow image of real, redness. Later, man will reach the point where he can not only let the shadowy conception of the red arise in his soul, but where, when he thinks red, red, will actually be before him. He will be able to create images, not merely conceptions. Thereby something will be achieved by him similar to that which already existed for the moon consciousness. But the images will not ebb and flow in him like dreams. Instead he will evoke them in full self-consciousness, as he does today's conception. The thought of a color will be the color itself, the conception of a sound will be the sound itself, and so forth. In the future, a world of images will flow and ebb in the soul of man through his own power. Whereas during the moon existence such a world of images filled him without his acting. In the meantime the spatial character of the objective external world will not disappear. The color which arises together with the conception of color will not be merely an image in the soul but will appear in outside space. The consequence of this will be that man will be able to perceive beings and objects of a higher kind than those of his present environment. These are objects and beings which are of a more delicate spiritual and soul nature, hence they do not clothe themselves in the objective colors which are perceptible to the present physical sense organs, however, these are objects and beings which will reveal themselves through the more delicate spiritual and mental colors and sounds which the man of the future will be able to create from his soul. Man is approaching a condition in which he will have a self-conscious image consciousness appropriate for such perceptions. On the one hand, the coming development of Earth will raise the present life of conceptions and thoughts to an ever higher, more delicate, and more perfect condition. On the other hand, the self-conscious image consciousness will gradually develop itself during this time. The latter, however, will attain full life in man.